Kaylee Ray, by the way, was announced as the NXT UK champion, not the NXT UK women's champion. Same with Rhea Ripley, who is now being announced not as the NXT women's champion, but as the NXT champion. They have done away with the gender identification on their women's titles. Uh, we'll see if they do the same on the main roster. I guess we'll find out tonight at the uh, Royal Rumble if this is just an NXT thing or not. I I think it's searching for a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. But for the people who say, well, it's, it's very confusing. You can't do that because now I'm all confused. You're calling her the NXT champion. It's not confusing. So long as they don't do intergender wrestling in WWE, which they do not. And Triple H has said uh, that is something they will not be doing. So as long as you know they don't have, uh, you know, the intergender stuff, then you won't confuse Adam Cole for Rhea Ripley, I promise you. Any other promotion where they do have intergender matches, like Impact right now with Tessa Blanchard, then yes, it would be confusing to rebrand your titles in that way. I just think it's completely unnecessary. That's my uh, thought on the whole thing. I think this is completely unnecessary. I saw the Becky Lynch comments from... WWE backstage last week about wanting to do away with the women's labels on TV, the women's division, and and wanting to do away with that. And she got a lot of flack for those comments and has since issued a clarification on her Twitter page uh, explaining that, you know, she was talking not about renaming the division, but about rethinking it and how limiting it can be to ascribe the women's label to everything. So, for example... You have people that sometimes will look at a pay-per-view and they'll say, well, uh, we already have three women's matches on the show. So we don't need any more than that. Why do we need more? You know, that, that sort of thing. And to that, to that end, I think it's a valid point. There should not be a limit on something like that. If they had five women's matches, and some people just don't like women's wrestling, I get that. But if they had five women's matches that were interesting enough to put on a pay-per-view. Let's say the pay-per-view has 10 matches or 11 matches, and, and half of them are going to be women's matches. But they're interesting enough. They're compelling matches. They've been built up for a long time. The talent involved is really good. They always deliver. Then great. Put those five matches on, is what I say. And if they don't, then you go with the matches that are more interesting. Here's the problem. They don't have enough women on Raw and SmackDown right now that are good enough to do that with. Or at least what they have them doing right now is not interesting enough. Becky and Asuka, for example, that's a good long-term story that they came back to. Becky and Ronda Rousey, that was a hot rivalry in the months leading up to WrestleMania last year. And it deserved to be in the main event, rightfully so. They deserve to be in the main event headlining that show. I don't want women's matches, or cruiserweight matches, or midget matches, or any division-specific matches, headlining shows, or flooding shows, unless they're good enough to headline shows and to fill up the cards. I don't want these things to be decided upon based on someone's genitalia. I want them to be based on skill level and how interesting the stories are. And part of that, you know, is, is on the way that WWE books these women. WWE has headlined Raw now for weeks with this Lana, Lashley, Rusev, Liv Morgan crap. And it sucks. I won't even watch it. I saw that was the main event on Monday. I, I didn't even watch the match. I don't know what happened. I don't know who won. I don't give a shit. If that's their idea of headlining with the ladies on Monday nights, then I have no interest in seeing it. So Becky can talk about how limiting it is to use the term women's but she should look at her bosses in the face and lay the blame there because they're the ones that spent years conditioning the fans and brainwashing them to think the way that they do about these things. And they're not doing the ladies any favors with what they've been doing with the women on Monday Night Raw and on SmackDown lately. The NXT women's division blows both shows out of the water. I will happily watch NXT shows that are headlined by the women. Stripping away the word women's from everything is not going to do shit to change how people perceive women's wrestling. Talent and stories well. Those are the two most important things. Talent and stories. I don't care what labels you do or don't put on it. That's it. I've said my piece.